You got to think about it, though. If nobody, if there was no walls holding these people in, if there were no chains of literally around their feet every second of the day, if it wasn't no, like y'all saw the movie Alice recently, like they just didn't leave. They were so entrenched in believing that there wasn't nothing like that. So something had to happen. It seems like it was a place to breed certain people just like that. Because around the rest of the world, it obviously wasn't like that. So it seemed like these was little pocket places that they was growing this type of situation where they were eventually going to unleash it on everybody. And that became the basis of them using the so-called black man as the basis of whatever it is they was doing. As the face of the black female, as the face of whatever they was trying to get across to everybody else. Because the more they got brutalized, the more other nations and stuff sent aid and all that, right? And we get into the same Bible that was set up for those that fell into captivity, who themselves say that they were descended from the 12 tribes of Israel, right? And the 12 tribes of Israel worship Yahweh, right? You just saw Yahweh. You just seen Yahweh. I just showed him to you. It's from the book of Esdras. They affirm that their captivity, the Hebrews, resolved to separate themselves from the heathen and to seek a spot where they might religiously observe the law for the violation of which they had been so severely punished. See, remember I kept telling you the Hebrews kept breaking the law. They kept breaking the law. The law of who? The law of Yahweh. That said that they had to be a certain way. And if they didn't do it, they would be punished because he was a jealous God. This is what they say. This is what they say, right? Right? So he used the colors of men, the color of law. Yakub was the one that took the colors, the brown cow from the speckled cow to create the white cow. As it says in Genesis, right? Don't it say that? It also say in the 120 that Yaku grafted the devil. Right? It say that. So right here on Book of Esdras is confirming all this. They needed to separate themselves from the heathen. That was anybody that was not Hebrew, meaning people who were of the 12 bloodlines that were meant to intermarry to be able to produce lighter skinned people. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Like this is this is what this is what is this is what they was doing. Based on the experiment that Yaqub had started with the Goyim. Who is the cattle, right? It says that Yaqub took the brown speckled cattle from the black cattle and the white cattle. That's what we say in Genesis. Then that's translated to us through the 120 where it says Yaqub took the black gene and the brown gene and grafted that, right? To create the other people, the other colors, who then created laws who now were under a color of law that they can now be put can now be used to put the original people to help create them under it. Why? Because they 
broke their religious covenant with their God, Yahweh, who we just saw. That's essentially essence of what they was making relationships with. Because these old entities was losing control on a physical plane. Based upon the spread. Of what became the so-called dark ages. According to the reports. Them to have to migrate to a country. Which was uninhabited. And so far distant that they journey for a year and a half or even more. This theory is further supported by the writings of the famous Masson Manasseh Ben Israel, a black man, who tells us that America and Asia now separated by the Bering Strait. That's the Strait of Kamchatka that I'm talking about. Were formerly one continent, and during the early period, these Hebrews penetrated to the Americas by land. Okay. These Indians, as well as as well as the ancient Hebrews, do we see the difference? The Indians reckon time with the same manner as the Hebrews. Let's go further, right? Because these Hebrews, although be it melanated people and a part of the so-called tribes, right? They still had a separate destiny for themselves based upon their covenant with their God. That said they could only marry amongst each other and only look out for people who was Hebrew. You understand? What does Hebrew mean? He who crossed over. He crossed over to what? The covenant with who? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And so this has bound our people to this covenant for hundreds of years. Not us, not all of us, but a lot of us are bound with principalities and powers, power in high places. That's what these things are. And these are the things that help to obfuscate one's relationship with their genetic past, with their ancestors to know what happened. So people can come in and change shit. Like what you see them doing with Hollywood and stuff is exactly what they did with our own history. What they're doing with their own history is what they did to our history. They're altering it. They're changing it. They're making you hate it. <laughs> because they can't make anything new. Why? Because they can't get out. <laughs> so they got to keep recycling the same thing. And they can't go to nobody outside of them. Because if they do, it's over. The Indians, who they call today the Native Americans, reckon the same manner as the Hebrews because they were under the Hebrews in that mass expulsion that came around the, around the time of the 13th century when they sent Jenkins and them, excuse me, when Jenkins and them sent all of the mastodons and over for the little light invasion. And they got shut down. So they couldn't live in the cities. They couldn't live by the mounds. They didn't have nothing to do with none of that. Their true ancestral land is in across the so-called Bering Strait, which is the Strait of Kamtakta. The 88 miles on the other side of Alaska, which was a part of the new Muscovy uh, Federal Republic when the Black Russians was running everything. See how it all ties together? So they can't do nothing. This is why they're persecuted. The Indians, as well as the ancient Hebrews, lived in tribes ruled by a chief, and their forms of government were almost identical. 
and clan system of the Indian has preserved a clue to some of the mysterious rites of the early Hebrews, because the Hebrews are who taught them. What is now known about the clan system of the Iroquois explains what formerly mystical was about the tribes of Israel, because the tribe of the Iroquois Confederacy was that. They are that, but they weren't the Mexican looking ones that they showing us today. And it's no disrespect to them. They can be whatever they are. Their ancestors were the ones that was out there going at the Buffalo and all of that, but we didn't let them into the cities like that. They wasn't coming around the holy mounds and all of that. They was not doing that because they was, they was regulated <laughs> before the white man got here. So if people want to say that they're descended from them, that's fine. They was the ones worshiping the sky and, and, and all of that. We wasn't doing none of that. We was building aqueducts and, and all of that still. That's why the white man broke all of the treaties with them. Yes, worshiping the corn and all of that. We wasn't doing none of that. Don't let the movie pray fool you. That was None of that was happening. <laughs> None of that was going on, man. That's all modern day. We trying to make everybody hate men. Like, none of that is real, man. Men fought and died to protect women by the millions in these wars, yo. Not many men died so their women wouldn't be raped. You don't even think of shit like that. That's how ill it was. You know how many men had to kill them, their wife and themselves to stop both of them from being raped and violated? You know how much will you have to have to do something like that? How much resolve? Go back and look at them slave movies. Go look when school teacher tried to come and get the baby and she killed the babies and stuff. And he looked at her and was like, she an animal. Because he looking at her like, wow, you so broke mentally. You so gone. I got you so wrapped up in this little enclave that we, we're calling the South, which is really a psyop. I'm starting to think it's a giant psyop that they run it because the government at the time is being run by so-called black men. So it's not making sense. Somebody lying, somebody. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. If it wasn't for men, none of us would be here. If it wasn't for women, none of us would be here. So how could one be more important than the other? I can see it in the, in the sense of the nine months and the time after to rear the children and stuff like that. Yet, when it comes to the point that you are willing to castigate an entire gender while at the same time stating that you have the right to change a gender while at the same time, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You're going from one frequency. You're going from a 30, 350 hertz to a 450 hertz, then down to a 650 hertz. You see what I'm saying? Think about it like that. Colorable. That's what allows them to flip it. That's what allows them to get it on. The word sheik, we can agree, is an Islamic word. We can all agree that. We can all agree to that. That's an Islamic word. <laughs> okay? We can all agree and say yes to that. Yet, 
yet we're still looking at it like the word when we say when a sheik now we're somehow taking the Islamic part the sheik part reading it not us but like other people would read it and still associate it with people who had nothing to do <laughs> with Islam or being sheep. You understand what I'm saying? Like this is how crazy it's gotten. Man. So we as more are always the ones that seem to have to be the catalogers of society's decline for whatever reason that is and thus to keep up with that they have uh, the universe creates documents books things like that to help illustrate and and help us from keeping our sanity because the goal of today's academia is not to educate it is to make insane so right here where it says that the winner sheets you see all of these places that are called winner sheet and have all of this land and counties associated with that none of that existed prior to the 1900s they were under a total jurisdiction prior to that. And after that, they all basically fell as parts of what was called the Parks Department, where they could just house huge tracts of land and not have anybody on it so they don't come across any of the natural stuff that we left behind. These two books are good to get this one specifically on colorable law and how to prosecute it how the FBI is the founder, not only of civil rights as a means to create its own enemy in the form of the so-called black men and so-called black women, but also create a fake economy around the idea. This book right here, Ordinary Men, is a good book you can read about how people well, how regular people were basically like, could be trained in a way where they could massively exterminate allegedly thousands of people or millions of people and not like think it's a bad thing. It's an interesting read um, on the, the present state of what's happening today. Like these incels, this obvious attack on this obvious so-called attack on white America, in which now white males can't have any real burn on nothing. But it's not, it is an attack on them, but it's it's not really because, you know, it's attack on the ones with no money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um it's on that. Um is really an attack on masculinity itself because masculinity is the last protection that women have. The term masculine or limit, masculine, excuse me, toxic masculinity was coined by Obama and Steph Curry on an interview that they did together. You can get this book these two books as well. You can order the FBI transcript through, through the Freedom of Information Act on the actual trial in which the FBI was found complicit and guilty in the murder of Michael Luther King. And that Jesse Jackson was a agent that was working with them and was supposed to be on the balcony uh, thing. These pictures that we see of him standing here happened before the actual shot and all of that. Shot didn't leave till Jesse left. Shot didn't have till Jesse left. And Billy Kyle's and all of that crap. Big up to Steve Copeland. 
RIP. So yeah, so these different vibrations and these different frequencies is, is basically opening up where it's, it's just, this all goes also with the, the fact, the fact that the United States of America, the corporation was found guilty. I don't know if y'all know this but, or remember this, we, we posted before, but it was found guilty of crimes against humanity in the killing of so-called black men. Excuse me, in the genocide of so-called black people in America. This has been established through, I believe, the International Court of Justice which then internationally, technically, under, color, under law, real law, actually makes it illegal for the things that they're doing to the so-called Moors in America. But because they haven't consolidated themselves as Moors, they can still be attributed to just being descendants of North Africans born in America. And when we say North Northern Africans, we're saying that we're so-called Africans of the North. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like that means then that we are what we're saying that we are. We are Moors, right? Who were misnomered as something else. And that something else became the basis of what they wanted us to be after that, which automatically violated the basis of what we were striving to establish in the first place. But because this new so-called corporation was established for, for the white American, see, the so-called free white person, these were all of the people being imported by George and them over here, you see? As well as all of their so-called uh, slobs who are going to put on the uniforms and then fight against. So by the time it got up to Michael Luther King, they already knew that they could not afford another awakening because if they would accept King, that means the next person they would accept would be who? So King could be you know, could one day become the the mayor of New York. But Malcolm could be the president. We can't have that. So there's a pattern of them building up everybody at the beginning of the century and by the end of the century or the century after, they tear them down. Look at what they did with Prince, Michael Jackson, George Michael, R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, think about it. These are all, this is all these things I'm naming. Think about all of the stuff you did while these people's art or these people's expression was in the background somewhere in your life. Every, towards the end of the century, they break it down. They build you up at the beginning and break you down by the end. You know what I'm saying? These are Americans right here on the right. During the quote unquote civil war. Over here, these are so-called German, uh, excuse me, Prussians. Remember for all of the years we was out here looking at these pictures of all of the Moors standing together and all of that, and boom, and then one day 
you go online and now you're seeing the same picture you've seen for all of these years of black and white. Now, all of a sudden, it's in color. Y'all ain't noticed that? Who colorized it? Where, who did that? Where did that come from? Was there color pictures of it all the time? And if so, how come nobody brought them out till now? This is where my mind be going with it. Like, what's going on? What are these people trying to flip on niggas now? Make niggas think it's one thing with something totally different. So when something is consistently the same for hundreds and thousands of years, which we are essentially, while at the same time growing as individuals, like think about that. That's something that can't necessarily be one dimensional. So these frequencies that we're passing through right now, this is the this is the element of us being able to to see how strong our intellect is now. You know what I'm saying? Like think about it, man. Think about all the shit you done lived through in the past three years. Just in the past three years. Let me bring up your life in the past three years. So we are the so-called um, original American Indian. We are the original so-called First Nation. These First Nation people, that's just another name that these Indians, these Siberians then, then, then got from the Indian Bureau of Affairs desk that paid them, you know what I mean, to maintain the law since they established the Indian Act with the help of Chief Two-Gun White Calf, who was a black shrine. Let's keep it 100% facts. Like all of the shit y'all, these people talking about is irrelevant. Like a black shrine to help them is up to y'all. So let's stop. That's why he's sitting right behind the president with the, with the, with the sword above the star, with the crescent star with the Egyptian hat on it. The same decal I be seeing on these dickhead cars all the time. Like, come on, man. Y'all playing, man. Y'all playing, y'all. These, these are just more actors. These are more dudes. The crying Indian on the old commercials I grew up with wasn't even Indian. He was a straight Jewish dude. His name was Russell. Like, <laughs> what Indian you know named Russell? Like, come on, fam. Come on, bro. Who who made it where y'all stop calling yourself Indian? Then y'all stop calling yourself Native Americans. Now y'all back. This, the, young, the youth ones is now on some, nah, we Indians. And you got another branch to say that they Aztecs. Like, like okay, you trying to say one evolved into the other? Okay, that's cool. But the Aztec you talk about, these is the, these is the niggas killing each other. The ones you talk about. That's why the more they got into that shit, the more you start hearing about these cartels going crazy, cutting people heads off and all this other type of shit. You see what I'm saying? Because you become the fool for the divinity you worship. Once you start dealing with all of these now, these old Aztec gods, some of these things was created after, were, were morphed out versions of gods that had went crazy from losing all their devotees on the higher realm, went crazy, devolved into whatever the white people that made them. And now you out here acting like, oh, this is this the God they was cutting their heads off to. No, it's not. This is the version that this crazy one that involved itself into in order to get the sacrifice. These niggas don't understand the level of chess that's going on around us with every, like, action almost. That's why you got to allow yourself to, to not be perfect, like, to understand this while at the same time be innocent enough to know that, you know, yeah, I know this, but imagine all the shit I don't know. Imagine all the other shit I'm about to find out. Like, that's what keep you from going forward. That's what keep you from not going crazy. When you grew up watching something and now all of a sudden now they done made it seem like the shit you grew up watching that they done programmed you to like is now crazy. And now you crazy for liking the original shit. You somehow a bigot because you don't like how they got it now. Where they trying to now program you to, they trying to get you to like this so you, you can subconsciously accept all the subconscious 
uh, agenda stuff that they done injected, that they told you that they going to inject into this stuff. So you done told me that you're going to, you, you're no longer in my entertainment. You're only about promoting this agenda to overly sexualize and eventually turn my whole family into sodomites. Okay, that's your agenda. That's fine. I'm not going to participate in that. Oh, well, boom, I am. How am I? Well, you like what you call it, right? Well, yeah, we got some gay shit up in this and we got some this up in that. And you like, this. you see, it's in everything. So you got to be able to somewhat detach from the overall situation and deal with the natural law of it, what it comes down to it in its essence. I'm not going to accept this amount of evil in my life. So when I hear the name uh, Shaquia or Maliqua or Moniqua or Toniqua and all of that, they have made it seem like that's, those names are ugly, that they're somehow laughable. When these are actual real Native American Indian names. But then if these chicks right here, if I made them look like modern day Siberian chicks and said, oh, this is Shaniqua, this is Maliqua, this is Maniqua. They'd be like, oh, that's mad exotic. Oh, you must really be <laughs> Cheyenne. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? And this chick be straight Mexican. Like, they be lying, yo. And then when you go directly to the root of what it is, they know. Because you know if you DNA test me right now, with one of these old mummies, I got the same DNA this mummy got. <laughs> do my DNA right now, do his DNA, and watch what it happens. Who, who gonna have closer? Me and him. I bet you it's me. <laughs> you know, I don't speak a lick of Egyptian. I don't speak a lick of you. You know what I'm saying? I don't speak a lick of Egyptian. I don't speak a lick of Arabic. I don't speak a lick of none of this shit y'all talking. I don't speak a lick of Polish. But go find an old Polish mummy from prior to the 1300s. And I bet you me and him got the same DNA. I bet you. <laughs> well, I bet your mind is similar to his. I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta make all these videos proving shit. I, like all of that. Any video I ever did was never really to prove nothing to y'all. It was always to the people who act like what they doing is not what we see them or I see them doing. Like, you're obviously bugging. You're doing what they do with Mount Rushmore. Before the president faces were called into Mount Rushmore, it was called the Six Grandfathers, part of the sacred Black Hills, the Black Hills of the Lakota tribe. Come on, man. Name one time in your life, a whole life, you ever went to a hill that was all black. <laughs> you ain't never seen that in the world. You ain't never seen no, no black hill in your life. The only time you did was you went to and you was walking up a hill and there was a bunch of black people on it. <laughs> That's a black hill. That's what a black hill is. You understand what I'm saying? Like, keep it real. Like, stop, stop. Stop putting all of this fake shit into it. You from Russia, okay? You you just as Russian as Jim Belushi, nigga. Excuse me. You no, he's Arme he's Albanian. Bad example. You just as Russian as as Dolph Lundgren, nigga. <laughs> I don't care if your name is White Rabbits. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I don't care if your name is 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 you know. Three deer, like it, it don't matter. You from the same continent this dude from. You got here 13,000 years ago, like the rest of y'all, man. Stop acting like you had anything to do with with ancient Mexico and and, <laughs> and, and ancient and the barbarous nations and, and the Seminole and, and any of that. For, like, stop acting like that, bro. <laughs> like, you did it. You lucked up. You was lucky that you got a bunch of moors that got cut off in some instances from being around those directly so-called melanated women. So they started having a bunch of babies with these other chicks and they created a whole sub-race they call the Zambos. And then from the Zambos, you got the the uh the 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 Chic the Chicanos, you know what I'm saying? Like it just went down from there. 
So by the end of it, you got the mestizos. This is facts. Get the book Blacks and Indians by Jack Forbes. He'll tell you this. He'll tell you this. Like, all these Anasazia Islamic name. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? How many Indians you know ever said assalamu alaikum to you? Not many. But the ones that live in the projects do. <laughs> you say assalamu alaikum when these American Indians in the projects, they be like, oh, I like a salon. They know. Whether they, whether they Muslim or not, who's doing that? Who's, who's doing that nowadays? It's over. Like, right, like we have to understand it's over. We, us, the people here on YouTube, stuff like this, we have destroyed natural media or what they call mainstream media. It's over. Nothing they do is working. It's done. It's done. People are tired. They done with it. You're either going to either nuke everybody, get it over with, or let society move how it's going to move, man. Because all of this, all of this back and forth, we in, we out shit, like, it's not, we, this is not Australia. We more, like, look, this is, this is so-called the only Muslim plantation in the Old South. You mean to tell me you had a plantation of all of these Muslims? And they were slaves? That's what you're saying? You're saying they're slaves? Where's the chains at? When you ever see slaves dressed with turbans on their head? This allegedly is in the South. I made it bigger. That's why I look pixelated. But this allegedly came from one of the uh, oldest, one of the only Muslim plantations. What? Muslim plantation? That don't even sound right. That don't even sound. Even in Roots. Even Kunta Kinte. 